Hey everyone, it's me here, Marie, at the new place to heal. I know, you know, it, it feels really weird because it feels like I haven't done a video in forever. But I just checked my records and it says I've only done one. It was like only like a week and a couple of days ago. But it seems like months because I've just been so freaking busy. Okay, so today um, we're only a few days away from Christmas and I wanted to give you guys a holiday gift that you could use um, and I want to thank everyone that has sent me gifts so far I just can't thank you guys enough for actually taking the time to think of me this holiday season and taking the time to um, you know send me something all right so um, a couple of uh, some of you have been following me a while know that about a year and a half ago I started having severe problems uh, with my teeth. Um, they were becoming loose. Um, I had horrible fatigue and um, I was bruising. I mean, every little thing, I would ram into whatever and I was bruising and the doctors couldn't find out what was wrong with me. So finally I went to the dentist and the dentist was actually the one that found out that I had scurvy. Now I know that some of you are out there going, scurvy? I thought sailors were the only ones that get scurvy. I mean, that hasn't happened in years. Uh, my dentist informs me that that is not so. He said there is a lot of people nowadays with scurvy because they're just not getting the vitamin C that they are supposed to be getting. And I'm also going to show um, share some other reasons why scurvy is coming back uh, like crazy. Okay. Um, um, besides having the loose teeth and then finding out um, that that it was um, the scurvy, they decided to put me on vitamin C. I thought, okay, I'm just going to go out to my local grocery store, buy some vitamin C, and that's it. And my dentist told me, no, that's not how it works because the stuff that they sell at Walmart, at your pharmacy, at your health food store, that stuff is is an acid that is not a real absorbable vitamin C that the body needs. So what he did is he put me on something called liposomal vitamin C and although it helped me and um, it gave me energy and it stopped the bruising and my teeth started to tighten up, um, it was very expensive in my book. I mean, it, it might be doable for a lot of people's pocketbook. For, for mine, it was not doable. So, I started, um, after I had my oral surgery and um, I wanted to continue taking the liposomal because I started doing um, uh, some research and found out that um, in, you know, I don't know if a lot of you know, but if you're in the health field, you should know that uh, gorillas, um, you know, the, the ape family, we're only like one molecule DNA away from them. Our DNA is very, very similar. So usually what affects them affects us, you know, what they can eat, we can eat, stuff like that. But what ended up happening was I started doing this research and found out that these gorillas that were being bought into the uh, local zoos were dying like crazy and they were dying of heart disease, heart attacks and of depression um, and they were getting PTSD. So, um, of course, you know, they don't want to do uh, all the testing for us. We don't matter. But the gorillas, you don't want to pay thousands of dollars for these animals, bring them into your zoo, and then have them die on you. So they actually paid to find out why these gorillas were dying on them and having all these problems with their heart and PTSD and depression. And it turns out that they were not getting enough vitamin C. So they figured, you know, if we overload them with vitamin C, the worst that can happen is they're going to die, which they're already dying. So let's try this. Can't be any harm. Well, guess what? The gorillas ended up starting to get a lot healthier, a lot happier, and running around and feeling great. And they were like, hey, we're on to something. So after doing more research, I found out that we have a genetic defect. Now, I hate to say that because I hate to think that our creator created a genetic defect in us. But it's called the, um, if you want to look it up, it's the GLO mutation. 
And what happens is we have the inability to make a certain enzyme in the liver that helps transform sugar glucose into vitamin C. Now, every, every, everything on the planet can make its own vitamin C, including fish. But we cannot, um, and that that's humans, primates, guinea pigs, and some bats cannot produce their own vitamin C. So um, animals in the wild produce higher vitamin C and anim domestic animals produce less vitamin C. So this is not just for you. If you have an animal that is not doing so great, vitamin C, who knew? All right, so I am going, so, uh, well, let me back up for a second. What ended up happening was I could not keep affording these bottles of liposomal vitamin C. I mean, I, I was ordering them and they were costing me um, you know, I think it was like $35 a pop and I was having to take two a month and, and, you know, I was like 65, $75 a month after shipping to take this liposomal vitamin C. So what I ended up doing is I started doing some research and I ran across a man and I will share his information later down below. And I learned how to make my own liposomal vitamin C so I can take the vitamin C in high doses. And let me tell you, I read somewhere that somebody said this stuff makes you feel like Superman. Oh, man, they're not kidding. I cannot go in my mornings without doing this because it makes you feel like Superman. I started singing, I started dancing, I started having a good time. I mean, um, you know, I started feeling so much better. So I wanna share it with you this Christmas so that you can start making your own liposomal vitamin C at home. So let me turn the page here. I keep notes. <laughs> um, all right, so when, when animals are caged, and I'm gonna tell you why you need to start making this at home, and then we'll get to it, I promise. Um, when animals are caged, when they have them in a, a zoo environment, or they get sick, they produce, their body produces more vitamin C. Now think about how often you get sick, how often you get stressed, and your body doesn't produce vitamin C. So the vitamin C it's, is what helps them not get sick. I mean, I, I'm, really, how many times have you seen a dog come down with a cold? You know, because whenever they're stressed, and they've done the studies where they put them in cages and all of a sudden their vitamin C shoots up because their vitamin C is trying to regulate that stress so that when the stress goes down, the vitamin C also goes down and it was the body never was the wiser. But in our society, our stress is going up, our illnesses are going up and we don't have anything that's buffering that. So our body is definitely feeling the pressure. So, um, the lenses of your eyes, your pituitary gland, and get this, your adrenal glands are what has the highest concentration of vitamin C in your body. And the pituitary gland is what stimulates the adrenals. And it also helps with growth, and it also helps with your metabolism. So if you're stressed out, I mean, you're stressing out your eyes, you're probably gonna start having floaters, you're stressing out your pituitary, now your pituitary can no longer stimulate your adrenals, and the next thing you know, your adrenals are just crashing. Um, if we don't make the vitamin C, and we don't take the vitamin C, we use up all the body's reserves, and once we're done using up all the body's reserves of vitamin C, um, we find ourselves with elevated uh, cortisol levels. We find ourselves with adrenal exhaustion and depression, anxiety, and PTSD. And let me tell you, I'm gonna tell you a really quick story. Um, I went through a period in my life where um, I had a lot of stress going on. I lost someone. Um, well, first, my, um, my husband at the time had a massive heart attack. 
uh, and we ended up having to leave the state that me and my children ended up having to leave the state that we were in because we lost the house and then I lost someone that was very close um, to my family he ended up dying and then my mother had a massive heart attack and then my grandmother got diagnosed with Alzheimer's and my daughter had a miscarriage so it was like one thing after another one thing after another and my adrenals crashed I mean I literally I had a nervous breakdown and um, it wasn't just till recently that I started driving again because when your adrenals crash you have what's called sensory overload and you can't drive because as you're driving you start what seems to be these panic attacks and what it is is just sensory overload because remember most of the vitamin C is in the lens of your eyes so I I just recently started driving again and but I still cannot get on the freeway because the high speeds you know the barricades the traffic on both sides it's still too much sensory overload the reason I'm telling you the story is because if there's any of you out there that are having this issue and you can't get on the freeway or you're having problems just driving down a, a busy road um, I don't want you to think that you know it's going on up here because that's what I thought I thought okay Marie's losing it but no I want you to know that, that your adrenals are crashing and um, until you get your adrenals back in order, you ain't getting on that freeway. Let me tell you, I've tried. Okay, so um, one of the biggest things that the vitamin C does is it, um, it signals your damaged cells to die. Listen to that. That's very important. It signals your bad cells, your damaged cells to die and go away. So if you don't have anything signaling your cells to die and go away, all these damaged cells are building up in your body and building up in your body, and guess what's going to happen next? You're going to end up with um, cancer. So I'm going to show you right now how to take care of this issue. Okay, so um, we're going to get a little technical here, so bear with me. It's really it's not that difficult. I thought it was going to be really difficult when I first did it and it's not you're gonna need a blender and you're gonna need a few ingredients one of the first ingredients that you're gonna need is is um, is a berry extract powder I will put um, the link down below where you can buy it and the second thing, this is um, a very high concentration of vitamin C, by the way. You can also get maca maca powder. Uh, I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, it. It's also a very concentrated form of vitamin C. And you're going to need non-GMO sunflower lecithin. Okay? And it cannot be, it's got to be the sunflower lecithin. You do not want the soy stuff the soy is very bad for you and your kidneys so you don't um you know you want the that one i will also put the link below and you're going to want some organic apple juice and then you're going to need some distilled water and you're going to need this little machine right here now this little machine is a um it's an ultrasonic cleaner and if any of you grew up in the 70s your mom probably had one you know all the gold jewelry you know that we used to have to wear to the disco okay so at the end of the day <laughs> you didn't want that green on the jewelry it was fake so you used to come you used to take it off and you used to take this little basket and you'd put all your jewelry in there and you'd put it in there and you'd turn it on and it would clean your jewelry that's what this is is a jewelry cleaner and yes, they still sell them. And um, I will give you the link um, of where you buy them. They sell them at Harbor Freight Tools. And it's model number 3305. I will also put the link below. If you do not have a Harbor Freight Tools, you can just um, buy it online. With the shipping, it's the same cost. I actually went right into my Harbor Freight tool and said, hey, you got a jewelry cleaner, uh, model number 3305? And he's like, oh, yeah, it's right over here. So they know exactly what you're talking about. Just don't tell them you're going to make vitamin C with it because they're going to look at you like you're nuts. All right, so 
Um, the first thing that you're going to do is, I'm gonna take my blender here, just your average blender. If you have one of those handy dandy ones, have, have at it, that's great. Okay, so I'm gonna take my organic apple juice. Um, if you don't have organic, well, you know, I mean, there's nothing else you can do, but you really should try to get organic. This is going right into your bloodstream. It's going right into your liver and it's going to go right into your cells. So you don't want a lot of junk in there. Okay. Um, you know, I mean, that that's like the most I can say. You don't want to buy like regular old apple juice at the store that has 10,000 ingredients. All this one has is apple juice and water. So you're going to take and you're going to take... Um, eight ounces. Let me see if I, I'll see. Okay. Eight ounces of the apple juice. Let me make sure. See, I forgot my glasses somewhere. Okay. There's eight ounces of the organic apple juice. And then I'm going to do eight ounces of the distilled water. Oops, too much. Okay. Okay, so now that we have eight ounces of apple juice and eight ounces of water, you're going to take your eight ounces of apple juice Drop it into your blender and you're going to take one tablespoon and you're going to do four tablespoons of the cherry. Doesn't have to be perfect. One, two, three, four. Now, there's some people that do this just strictly with water. Um, I couldn't get it down. I have to use the apple juice because it is just horrible nasty. Okay, so when you go to turn on your blender, it doesn't blend, matter what type of blender you have. You want to put it on the lowest setting. You don't want a lot of air um, put into this. You want to keep it at a very low setting, and you want to just turn it on um, you know, for about a minute till everything gets very well blended. The powder mixes with the apple juice. I don't know about your blender, but with my blender, the, um, the powder has a tendency to stick to the sides. So I usually stop it a little bit halfway and make sure that it's all mixed in. Uh, you want to use a rubber spatula or you want to use wood. As with anything else that you're doing that you're going to put into your body, you don't want metal mixing in there. Oh, and by the way, I know that the there's going to be questions about it. No, you cannot use those Nutribullets to do this. There's too much speed in them and it'll give, um, it'll give it too much air. So, turn it back on. Okay, that looks nice and mixed. Okay, you're gonna open up your little jewelry cleaner. You're going to take that little uh, plastic thing that gets, you wanna get rid of that. You wanna get rid of that basket, okay? Because then you're left with this nice stainless steel interior and that's what you want. Okay, so now that this is nice and mixed, you wanna pour it, you wanna pour it right into your little stainless steel jewelry cleaner. That's going to fill it up about halfway. Okay. Then we're going to take our eight ounces of water, put that into the blender.
And then we're going to take, I'm making a mess here. We're going to take six tablespoons of the sunflower leth lethicin. Doesn't have to be perfect. Once again, one, two, three, four, five, and six. All right. Okay. And then we're going to put the same thing. Put it on low for one minute till the lecithin and the water are all nice and mixed. stuff off the side you don't want to leave any of that good stuff because this is the stuff and the reason you're doing it this way is because you're trying to bind everything okay everything needs to bind in order to enter into your bloodstream and enter into your cells <laughs> like it's nice and make it looks like vanilla tastes I mean smells horrible okay same thing you're gonna take your little um, jewelry cleaner and then you're gonna pour that on top and that will fill it right up to the top okay and then I make sure I mix it a little bit to make sure that everything is mixed Now, I'm going to lower the camera a little bit because I want you to see what I'm doing here. Let me see if I can lower it. Oh, much better. Okay. So, let me get this blender out of here. So now you're going to close the lid and you're going to plug it in. You should not have it plugged in until now because um, the little lights all come on the minute you plug it in. So you're going to plug it in and you're going to see a little blue light. And on the front, there's an on and off button. So you're going to press the on button and you're going to hear it zapping. And what it's doing, it's ionizing all the stuff that's in there. And it's um, it's binding it together. Now this little machine turns off after three minutes. That is not enough to mix all the molecules and both and all this stuff. So you need to do six six turns on the machine. Usually what I do is I have a little paper next to the machine. I flip it on. The minute it turns off, I hit it again and I go marking little lines. You know. Okay, it's gone through the one cycle, second cycle, third cycle. You want to do it six times because six times is, is what it takes to find everything. So, um, and then when it's all done, and I, I'll sit here, um, and I, I'm going to go through the cycle. So I'm going to show you. Um, one of the things that I want to do is I want to thank um, Troy. Um, and I will put his link down below in this video. Troy over at Natural Herbal Pharmacy for sharing this with us because he's the one that I got it from and um, I am so grateful because even though uh, the startup cost, this little machine will run you about $30 and um, you know the startup cost for everything is about I'd say $60. In the long run cost me pennies to make compared to getting the liquid and it's fresh I know exactly what is in here because I'm getting it I'm doing it myself and um, the benefits that I have had have been unbelievable now you might notice um, some weird stuff happening at first um, the first week that I did it you only want to take one shot of this. This is very concentrated. So you want to take one shot. Second week, 
I went to two shots. And the third week, I went to three shots, and I've been staying at three shots. It's a lot of vitamin C in your system. And you want to do this um, first thing in the morning or on an empty stomach. You want it to be able to get into your stomach, get into your liver, get into your blood, and get into your cells. And usually about, oh, I'd say 15 minutes after you take it, you're just like, let's go right a marathon. You will be feeling good. Maybe not the first day, maybe not the second day, but usually around the third day of taking it, you've taken enough vitamin C into your body. Okay, see, it just shut off. There's one cycle, so I'm gonna push it again. On, you have to do that six times. Um, so this, the, maybe not the first day, not the second day, but about the third time that you take it, you've now accumulated enough vitamin C in your body where you're just like, I'm good to go. Now I wake up in the morning and it's like, let me just make it to my kitchen and I'm just like, give me my shot glass. Because I was just not unaware. I was not unaware. I was completely unaware that vitamin C was actually this important to your body. Most, most of you out there are not absorbing your food, um, let alone any vitamins or minerals. Um, a lot of you have high blood pressure, high cholesterol, diabetes, you name it. And um, you need to you remember this is what, uh, this is one of the hormones that you need in the vitamin C, I mean, for, for it to create different hormones in the body that it needs. And for the glucose in the pancreas to turn into vitamin C. And if you have diabetes, that ain't happening. Your, your pancreas isn't doing much at all. So I'm gonna show you, um, while this is doing its thing, I'm gonna show you what the end product looks like because I have it, I keep it in my refrigerator. You wanna keep it in your refrigerator and take shots every morning. So basically, this is, um, this is the end product. I keep it in my refrigerator. And it kinda looks like watered down hot chocolate does not taste anything like it, trust me. Um, you do not want to put anything into this after it's made. And, you know, you just want to do your shots. Salute. And with the apple juice, it makes it a lot easier. Now, I know there's some of you that are going to say, Marie, I can't stand apple juice. Can I use cherry juice? Can I use grape juice? I don't know. I haven't um, gone and dove in that deep yet, um, whether, I mean, I would assume that you could, you know, but I mean, since it's going into your liver, if you can handle the apple juice, that would be the greatest because it's got the malic acid in there and that's going to do wonders for your liver too, shot too, you know, and um, one thing I've noticed after taking this, one thing I've noticed after taking this that if you have a weakness in your body, it's going to show it to you. There, it just turned off again. Round three. Um, it's going to show it to you because I must have a real weakness with my, um, with my, not my pancreas, but my spleen because my lower lip, your, your lips, when your lips get really dry for no reason, if you haven't been out in the wind and the snow and whatever, and your lips get extremely dry, that is because your spleen is having issues. Um, your lips are associated to your spleen. So the minute I started taking the vitamin C, I um, I not only I didn't have any like pains in my in my spleen, but my all my lips started to crack and bleed and crack and bleed. This was really bad for like the first I'd say three or four days, and then it started really cleaning up. I've had other people that have called me and said, wow, ever since I started to take the vitamin C, my left knee has really been hurting. Yeah, it's pulling all that junk out of there. So if you have a weakness um, in your system, <clears throat> that vitamin C is going to find it. Remember, it's the vitamin C signals the damaged cells to get out of there. So obviously, I must have quite a few damaged cells in my spleen that have been there and not going. This person who told me about his knee obviously has some damaged cells in his knee that 
and um, sure enough, he's had knee surgery. And he's like, well, I think I have some scar tissue in my knee. And I think that's what's causing it. So there you go. So whatever it is, just be prepared for that. That's why I say only take one shot at first and then wait a week, then week two, take two shots, and then week three. Because if you take all three shots on week one, if it's your shoulder, you're going to be in some serious pain. If you have to go work a regular nine to five job, you're going to have issues. So like with anything else in detox, take it slow and you want to build up to that. Okay. So, um, I'll be back once this is done because it's still got, um, I've done three rounds. I still need to do three more because I want to show you the end result of this. Be back in just a few. All right. And we're back. My machine has now gone through six cycles. Now remember, each cycle is three minutes. So it's three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18. It's done 18 minutes of ionizing and binding this lecithin to the cherry and the water and everything else. So um, what we're gonna do is I get myself a nice big bowl to dump everything that's in here into the bowl. You'll see there's still a little blue light there going on until, even if you turn it off, there is still a blue light going on. You actually have to unplug it in order for that blue light to go away. So now that um, everything's been mixed, I just take any jar that you want and pop it in there. And that is now ready to be put in the refrigerator and I just pour myself two shots three shots whatever one shot whatever you want every morning um, how you're starting out so I hope that you guys have a wonderful blessed Christmas and if I don't see you before New Year's a uh, very blessed, happy, healthy, happy, um, safe New Year's. And um, I might be seeing you guys before New Year's. Um, and remember, if you want to be healthier and definitely happier, because this stuff will make you happy. I mean, it, it really helps with your endorphins. Um, you definitely want to take this stuff every morning. This is what... If, if I was to put anybody on a regimen, this would definitely be one of the must, ha you have to have this on your regimen. I mean, it is one of the things that is gonna make a huge, huge difference in your health. Now, remember those gorillas that I was telling you about at the beginning of this video? I know it was a long time ago. The daily recommended allowance for humans in vitamin C is 60 milligrams a day. Gorillas, primates, in the wild consume 13,000 milligrams in order to stay healthy. That's what the average animal out in the wild consumes. Makes you kind of wonder where they're getting all that vitamin C, huh? But yeah, something tells me that the government with their recommendations is wrong and the gorillas are right. All right, till next time. Stay happy, stay healthy. Take your vitamin C, especially for those kidneys and adrenals. You will thank me. Bye.